Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. I'm making this video as more of a personal WTF. I just don't understand, and I just don't get a why so many of you like Shuttleheart. It's no more than a quick Google search to see how many of you actually like her. Apparently, in December 5th, 2023, roughly two to three months ago, 51.3% of players actually chose Shuttleheart over everybody else. Now, those numbers could have changed by now, but still, the very first character we even meet in the game is Lazelle. You see that epic cool flip with the dragon in the background? That shit is amazing. In the moment she figured out you're not a thrall, she instantly Together, gets on your side. We might survive. So why does so many people dislike Lazelle when she's one of the first characters we actually see? She even opens up the game. Well, apparently Lazelle's personality is just too much for players to take. So what, now having too much personality is a bad thing? I just don't understand. I get it. She has an attitude and she's a little bit of a bee. But it's only really in the beginning. Really, she's actually one of the most honest characters of your group. But where do I start? Arcerian, one of his first nights when your sleep tries to drink your blood without permission. Gale's a living bomb and doesn't tell you until you already invest a bag full of magical items to give him. Bull has a little devil on his back that's literally watching you guys consistently. Yeah, he couldn't really tell you because of the deal, but you would have to believe that even without the deal that he would actually tell you. Which leads to my final case, Shadowheart. Shadowheart has been lying to you from the very start, saying that this relic is really nothing, but really she stole it from the Gift Yankees. The same Gift Yankees that have magical dragons and armies. The same Gift Yankees that will kill you for less and definitely will kill you if you steal from them. If it wasn't for the fact that the artifact is keeping you alive, Shalhar will be a little less than a thief. At least Carla tell you that she came from the hells and she fought in the blood wars and her infernal engines on the verge of destroying herself. The most emotion I've ever seen on Shalhar was at the very beginning when you save her. After that, she's cold and lying to you most of the time and keeping secrets. So I ask you this, what part of lying to you most of the time is actually healthy? What point in keeping secrets most of the time is actually healthy? Even when she's pressed about the artifact by Lazelle, she still chooses to lie rather than just tell the truth. She'd rather fight Lazelle than admit that she actually stole something from her people for Shar. The bad blood must be purged. A jewel come first light. You mean I'd get to prove you wrong and thrash you? If it I only went that way. Shahar agrees to a duel in the morning just to betray Lazelle in her sleep. But she was actually planning on assassinating Lazelle in her this. sleep. She'd rather but kill Lazelle in her sleep rather than towards. tell the truth. And this was after if she agreed asks, to the duel in the morning. She even has a cover story to cover up her Don't killing Lazelle. If you choose to do nothing, she'll actually see in her assassination. After the secrets, after lying, and this is what it comes down to her actually killing a member of your crew. This wasn't just dishonorable, this was just straight betrayal. I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't feel comfortable with sleeping next to Shahar knowing she tried to assassinate somebody. I'm aware that she was most likely being manipulated by Shahar, but most of you chose Shahar without even knowing that. If it were me, if I knew my girl had tried to kill someone in their sleep after promising they'll see them in the morning, I'd have myself packed that night. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked and enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye. Also, comment what you guys think. I'm really hoping to read some of you guys' comments. See ya.